Hey guys, what's up? It's easy as everything where everything is easy. And sorry about having to go with a camera this time instead of a video recording, but we're actually going to be jailbreaking the new 4.2.1 uh, iOS software from Apple. And uh, so in the description, I will have a list of compatible devices and uh, the devices that will have a tethered jailbreak and an untethered jailbreak. And I'll also have uh, some links in the description where you'll have two files to download. And uh, they're going to be uh, the actual iOS. So let me actually do this. The actual uh, IPSW and Red Snow. They made a new Red Snow and it is compatible with this uh, new firmware and it jailbreaks it. So um, sorry about that. But the reason I'm going with the camera is because you're actually going to have to do some stuff on your iPod. Now, I have an iPod Touch second generation non-MC model, so mine might be a little bit different from yours. But either way, I just restored it uh, for about the fifth time because I keep messing up on the takes. But either way, I restored it again, and so it's completely new on 4.2.1, and... Uh, so basically what you're going to want to do is uh, before you start this, you're going to want to back up your device and you're going to want to go into the first link and download the correct firmware fit for your device. And what you're going to do is, as you can see, I'm on a Mac, but uh, you're going, if you're on a Mac, you're going to hold down Option and you're going to click restore so hold on a minute uh let me do this see if i can get this right okay option restore oh no are you kidding there we go all right if you're on a mac you do that and you would select where oh yeah <laughs> you would select the firmware and you would restore it that way if you are on a windows you would do shift and then click restore and then just select it and it'll restore and be on your firmware after that you need to make sure it is synced up into iTunes plugged in and everything and uh, once that's done you need to go uh, where you save red snow open that up and you should get red snow and I think iTunes just quit on me but that's okay and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click browse here, uh, browse. <laughs> and you're going to choose the IPSW that you just downloaded, 4.2.1. And this is going to pop up and it's going to ask you if uh, you are an MC model or not. If, you, if you're not sure, you can find your model type in your settings, general, about screen. And, uh, okay. So, um, basically to check if you have an MC model, you need to go into, let me zoom out here, oh my goodness. You need to go to your settings. Go into general. And go into about, right here. Sorry about this. You need to go into about. And you just scroll down until you see like a serial number or something. And uh, it will be like MB and a bunch of numbers, or MC and a bunch of numbers. If yours is MB and a bunch of numbers, click no. If yours is MC and a bunch of numbers, click yes. Mine is not. Should say IPSW successfully identified. Go ahead and click next. And you should get this loader. Mine should probably go a lot faster than you guys' because I've done this so many times. Uh, you see, it's 9.19. I mean, it's not that late, but it's been a while. <laughs> um, so now what you're going to do, obviously, you're going to want to install Cydia. You can have your own custom bootleg and recovery logo. You can have multitasking, a home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage, and all this other stuff. Once you're done, click Next, and it will tell you to make sure that your device is both off and plugged into the computer. First, you need to plug the computer. See, if it is not off, plug the device into the computer first. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold the power button for about three, four seconds. There we go. And slide this power off with it plugged in first. And then once it's turned off, when you click next, 
it's going to prompt you to um, actually hold down the power button for three seconds. Then it's going to want you to hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. Then it's going to want you to keep holding the home button for a little while longer. So uh, basically, I'm going to click next with my hands and stuff on the button. And I'm going to try to actually do this so you can actually see what's going on. Maybe if I do that. All right. Hopefully, y'all can see that. All right. I'm going to click next. And you're gonna hold down the power button, and then hold down the home button with the power button, like that. Holding down the, the home button and the power button. And then I'm gonna let go of the power button. There, it's gonna be on your screen. You see, it's gonna be a little prompt here. And now I can just kinda hold it in, and you're just gonna keep holding the home button. You should see a white screen. And it should like go off, and it's gonna be a black screen, and it's gonna be a white screen again. Basically, it's just uploading stages like that. And then you're gonna see this downloading jailbreak data, keep holding the home button. Then you're gonna see all this numbers. It's gonna look like someone's hacking into your system, but nothing's happening. Once you see done on Red Snow, you can, cl you can click finish. Oops, sorry about that. Click finish, and then let go of the home button. So you can let go of the home button. And you can actually click finish. Okay. Now your iPod still has, or your iDevice still has all this stuff on it. <laughs> okay. Alright, and then you should see this little running pineapple. Looks like that. Okay, and then you should see this little loading bar. Right now it says flashing NOR. I love this pineapple. He's so weird. Um, and then it's just going to load up should take a long time so I might just go ahead and like cut the clip right here okay so it's just rebooting right now just finished the little pineapple loading scene there and uh, at this point you can go ahead and open up iTunes yeah. you just go ahead and have that open why isn't this focusing there we are, that's better. Okay, so go ahead and open up iTunes and have your iPod loading. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> all right, it just, just synced with the uh, iTunes here. And there you go, you got a sync in progress. Just go ahead and cancel that for right now, just for right now. And you can already see that you have the home screen wallpaper. So that's good. And if you scroll over, shaboom, look at that. And on settings, if I go ahead and do this just really quick, hold on. I got to make this go out just to show you guys that we are on four. Wait, where? Oh, man. There we go. This would focus. We are on 4.2.1. I'm sorry about this. There we go. I got it. Okay. Um. So it's 4.2.1. And uh, yeah. So that's about it. So you have it on. And then just go into Cydia. Right there. There we go. And it's going to say initializing file system and all that. Just wait for this to load. And that's basically it. You have a jailbroken device on 4.2.1. Isn't that oh so totally amazing? <clears throat> Alright, so you're just gonna slide it. Go over. Cydia. There we go. And it's gonna ask you who are you. I recommend choosing developer because then you get like everything. And then click done up here. And that's about it.